So I decided I'm going to do a little short show today. It's going to be two for today because I got a couple things that I want to talk about. I want to talk about the Michael Jackson challenge. I want to talk about Thriller because it is Halloween. And I'm going to do something a little bit later on with Thriller that everybody will love, I'm sure. Also, I got a message for Dan Reed. In fact, the message I already put out, I'm going to tell you all about it. that and much more coming up on the Matt Blake Show. Here we go. Join the fight. What are you gonna do now? Cause we won't wait. What are you gonna do now? Cause it's too late. Too late. Oh yeah. I hope it's not too late. Never too late, as far as I'm concerned. There's always time to do something, to do what you like, to do what you want. It is October 31st. It is Halloween. Everybody's getting ready to do a virtual Halloween, whatever that means, because we can't go out. You can't bring your kids out. I mean, you can. Some people are. I'm not. I don't have kids. And believe me, I'm keeping my doors shut. I'm not letting anybody in. I'm not giving out candy. I got no candy. Not happening. But I got better things to talk about. I want to talk about first about the Michael Jackson challenge. Everybody goes, what the hell is that? And if you watch my video from a year ago, it's been a year since I talked about the Michael Jackson challenge. But then I didn't go through with it. And there was a big reason why I didn't go through with it. But now I'm back. And I want to do it. And I think people want to hear it. Especially now with Dan Reed trying to make a sequel to Leaving Neverland. So I think now is the time that we could do the Michael Jackson challenge. And then this is what it is. Anybody, the haters that want to come out. See, and the reason I came up with this idea was when I did my original videos a year ago, I kept getting tons and tons of comments from haters, right? And I'm answering them in the comments, and I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, oh, my God. It's so exhausting, and it takes so much time for me to, like, type it out, and, and you, you misspell a word, and you got to go back, and I got to edit, because I'm, like, a real stickler pretty much for spelling a lot of the time. And I'm just like, oh, it's so, it's so annoying. And I said, wait, I got this. I got the mic. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to call it the Michael Jackson challenge. And anybody who wants to call in and debate me on anything having to do with Michael Jackson, because those people, the haters that still want to say he's a pedophile, still don't want to believe the trial in 05, still tell me that the evidence shows that he was a pedophile, even though he was found not guilty. I go, look, how about this? I'll let you call into my show and we could debate about it. Whatever you want to talk about. You want to talk about leaving Neverland? You want to talk about the 05 trial, the 03 raid, 93 raid, anybody, Jordy Chandler, Jonathan Spence, the Avizos, Wade Robson, Safe Chuck, Dan Reed, who, whatever you want to talk about. You can call in and I will give you every opportunity to speak your mind and say whatever it is you got to say. Not just hiding behind your keyboard, typing in comments on videos. Now you can go at it with me and we'll debate about it. Now, it's not just for that. It's also if you want to celebrate the life of Michael Jackson, you want to celebrate the music, the dancing, the videos, I welcome you to call in as well. This is be like no holds barred. This isn't professional. I'm not, a prof I'm not on the radio now. This is not a professional setup. It's quasi-professional, but it's not a total professional setup. I got one phone coming in. That's it. So whoever is on the phone, I'll take the phone call and that'll be the end of it. I don't know who it is going to be on the phone. I'll just pick the call. So there's some things that have to get done in order for me to make that happen. I might have to set up some things with the phone system, uh, other things that will have to be put in place. Now, I said it then and I'm saying it now. The caveat, of course, is that this YouTube channel of mine has to hit 1,000 subscribers. Now, we're at 600. 
It's like 400 more. That's nothing. Nothing at all. And you say, why didn't you do it? You had a whole year. And I said, well, there was a reason why I didn't do it for the year. It wasn't that I didn't want to. There was an actual specific reason that it didn't happen. But that's done now. And I wasn't in jail or anything. I was around. I, there was a reason, but whatever. Now we're going to do it. So anybody can call in, and the channel has to hit 1,000 subscribers. We're like four, I'm 400 away. I see channels that get like five, 10,000 subscribers in a week. I'm like 400. So like, subscribe to this video. Uh, I say like the video, subscribe to the channel share it with anybody, have them subscribe to the channel. Let's do this. I will put it out there. I will give everyone plenty of notice and plenty of time if you want to participate in this because I want the most viewers and listeners that we can get for this thing. So that's why I will give everyone ample time, ample notice for them, for you, I should say, for you and everybody else to be here when we go live. Of course, it'll be taped and you can watch it. You can watch it on on YouTube, but I, you wanna participate, you gotta do it live. So I will give everyone ample notice of when that's gonna happen. Oh yeah, and also the other thing, Twitter. I got a Matt Blaze Show Twitter account. Do me a favor, if you, if you have Twitter, go and follow me on Twitter. It's so pathetic right now, I literally, I have 22 followers on Twitter, 22 followers. That is so sad. So I need more followers. I want to get the word out to everyone. So please do me a favor. Just follow me on Twitter. Look it up, Matt Blaze Show. And follow on Twitter. I'm going to start tweeting out a whole bunch of stuff. Like I tweeted out already. I said I had a message for Dan Reed. (laughs) So I tweeted out to Dan Reed last night, and I've said it before. I'm saying it now. Dan Reed wants to come on this show and talk to me and answer the questions. More than welcome. Robson and Safe Truck are welcome. I know they'll never show up, and I know Reed will never show up either. So let me show you. This is the tweet that I put out to Dan Reed. <laughs> I put this out last night. I am back with the truth and common sense. I dare at Dan Reed 1000 to come on my show and answer to the inconsistencies in that fiction piece he calls a documentary. And there is the link to the, uh, the video, last video. I changed that picture. That's not, that's, I changed the picture. The picture now is uh, Michael in handcuffs from the uh, They Don't Care About Us prison version of the video. That's the new picture, but that's the same thing. So look. Dan Reed probably saw it. He has, he has like, I don't know, 10,000 followers. I didn't follow him. I don't want to give him any followers. So I put it out there. Maybe he saw it. Maybe he didn't. But it's there. But, hey, listen. Here, here's what you, you want to tweet at him? Go ahead. You want to tweet at him about my show? Go ahead. Let's see if this guy has any balls to actually go on a real show and not some fluff nonsense show that's going to ask him softball questions that they have a limited time to do his segment and they're going to move on to the next question where I would press him. He'll never come on this show because he doesn't want to answer real questions about the inconsistencies of leaving Neverland and how the garbage, how much garbage it is. And now he wants to involve the Jackson side. Now he didn't want to do it then. Now he wants to involve it. So, you could tweet out to Dan Reed if you want, and anybody else. But please do me a favor, just follow me. I got 22 followers right now. I'm looking at it here, I'll show it to you. I got 22 followers. That is so pathetic. Look, hold on, let me fade over here. Yeah, there's my followers. Look, 22. I'm following 120, and most of those actually, it's talk radio stations. Because, you know, I do talk radio. So that is the majority of the people I'm following. But I'll follow you back. If you follow me, I'll follow you. So that's what's happening. That's my, my, my Twitter account. But so go look at Twitter. And uh, follow me. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about, if you haven't known, if you don't know this yet, uh, Michael Jackson's Ghosts is uh, on the Michael Jackson YouTube channel. It will be airing there 
until uh, Sunday, November 1st. So if you haven't seen it and you want to see it, go ahead and take a look at it. And uh, it's pretty cool. It always was. Now, here's the thing, and I just don't get this, and I, I, I'm begging you. I'm begging the powers that be in charge of the Michael Jackson estate. Please, please, for the love of God, please put everything in HD already. What is going on? I mean, they put Thriller in the movie theaters in 3D. Where's the 4K HD version? Where's Ghost in HD? Where's Beat It, Billy Jean, every video in HD? I don't understand, unless they don't have the negatives. And I can't imagine that they don't. They got lost. Somebody threw them out. Somebody somewhere has to have it. I don't know if it's Epic Records that has it. I don't know if, if the Michael Jackson companies have it. I don't know who has it. But we're in 2020 already. You know, Michael's been gone for 11 years. There is no reason why the video shouldn't be in HD. And on the YouTube channel, Ghost is not in HD. It's an SD, standard definition. And I don't know why. That definitely could be in HD. It was, it was in movie theaters. So please, I am begging you, put the stuff in HD already. I'll buy the Blu-ray. I'll be the first guy online. Unless you want to send me a free copy so I can review it. You know, you can always do that. You know what I'm saying? But please, do me a favor. Everybody wants to see it. Now, the other announcement I have later on today, I will be doing, I'll post it tonight. I'm going to be doing a thriller reaction video. Me. Now, I've seen thriller like a thousand times, at least, right? And I said, it's time that somebody who's actually seen the video, who has an actual analysis of the video and some nice comments about the video, or I should say interesting comments about the video and not just, oh, that was cool. Wow. Uh, you know, this is the first time I'm seeing this. I mean, I'm only 19 and like, everyone always talked about filler, but I never watched it and wow, this is so cool. It's really cool. Wow, it's cool. It's so cool. Michael Jackson turns into a, a monster. That's cool. And there's zombies that dance. Cool. I think I could do a little better than that. Especially because I remember the excitement that surrounded the premiere on MTV of Michael Jackson's Thriller. So I am going to post my reaction video to Thriller, which I think will be very interesting. I think everybody's going to love it. I hope so anyway. We've all seen it. I watched it a thousand times. I just watched it again. And every time I watch it, honestly, it's one of those things that I, I feel like it's the first time, though I know it by heart. But, you know, I have my comments and I have my uh, reviews and, few things I want to talk about with the video. So that'll be fun. And it's Halloween. It's amazing that Thriller became like this big Halloween theme now because it's Thriller. Growing up, like when I was growing up, even after it came out, like we didn't really like think about Thriller and Halloween. I don't know why. We just didn't. The only thing we really thought about was Halloween, the movie Halloween. That was it. I guess I was just more interested in getting out, getting candy. What did I care about uh, anything else? And then now it's like Thriller and Ghostbusters and Monster Mash and there's a bunch of Halloween songs. And then you had the, uh, the, the, the movie, night, was it Night Before Christmas, the Halloween song, all that crap. Now it's a whole thing. So I will do my Thriller reaction video, post it up tonight, and we'll see if you like it. I hope so. And that's it. That's really all I wanted to say today. I didn't want to make this a long, drawn-out video. I just wanted to say a few words, talk about the fact that the Thriller reaction video will be posted up later on today. 
please like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get to the thousand. Let's do this. Also, again, please go to Twitter and follow Matt Blaze Show on Twitter. Also, you can hear just the audio. So you see the video and you have just the audio is on streaming platforms. It's on Spotify. It's on iTunes. It's on a couple of places. Google Podcasts as well. So check it out. And the next thing you'll see, you're probably going to watch it right now because you might be watching both of them back to back or you've already watched the uh, thriller reaction video. Something, isn't it? It's pretty good. Till next time.